195A states that a deliberate and malicious attempt to hurt the religious sentiments of people from a particular community. Now, the question is that was there at any point in time a deliberate or a malicious attempt of any kind? From a creative person's point of view, I am scared. And I think everybody here in this room is scared ki what tomorrow can be interpreted as a deliberate and a malicious attempt to hurt the sentiments of a particular community. Everybody knows that Kiku Sharda is a comedian and it's his job to entertain people and make them laugh. Any person who is a public figure is subject to such a spoof or any kind of performance. Tomorrow, any comedy, any satire based on anyone or any person who is occupying a position of religious prominence can be taken as an attempt or a deliberate attempt to hurt a particular community. None of us are safe. How can satires or spoofs be made anymore and how can comedians survive? The section 295A needs to be uh, seriously revisited and it needs to be probably repealed. It is a regressive and a retrograde section in the law. After this episode where a police posse from Haryana reaches Mumbai without any intimation to any local police, goes on to a set, arrests an actor. Tomorrow a director can be arrested, a producer can be arrested, a writer can be arrested, any creative person can be arrested. Because one person in a remote corner of India has filed a case for hurting their religious sentiments. Where does this stop? The law seriously needs to take cognizance of this case. And I think the entire creative community here needs to stand together, which we will, and we will take this forward to the government and make sure that certain safeguards, if not a total repealing of the law, are put into place to safeguard the creative community. I think, you know, IB ministry has to look into it very seriously. Jaitri Saab should look into it very seriously. Rajnath Singh should look into it very seriously because it is going to affect the entire community, the entire entertainment industry, not only in Bombay, but everywhere in the, this country. So, I mean, how are we going to look at our writers, our performers, our directors, our technicians, creative people? What kind of freedom they are going to give us? And if there is no freedom, then what are we doing here? And how can we call ourselves a free country? So, there are much bigger questions involved, not just a matter of one artist here. He is symbolic, he is just a face of the issue. But the issue is much bigger than Kiku, because it concerns all of us, including you people, in front of us. See, the, po uh, no, the point is that um, uh, we are talking only about television, cinema, internet is not being regulated right now. Okay, there's YouTube, there's so on and so forth. Any of us, tomorrow you take a candid picture, okay, and uh, you'll be arrested. The point is, where is there going to be genuine freedom of expression? We're not talking about sleaze. We're talking about genuine creativity. Who will regulate that? And who will ensure that all of us who are trying to do good creative work, tomorrow, you do a play which is about a Hindu-Muslim problem, some problem on the Godra roids, something to with, uh, do with the Bombay blast, something to do with the Nirbhaya case, something to do with Arushi. Ten things happen. And someday if you are not politically correct, you are there, inside jail. What happens then? Who takes the onus on that? This is a question that, like Ashu said, they सवाल तो बहुत है हम सबके मन में कितने जवाब देंगे हमें राइट आशुतोष